All right, so we are going to continue our outpost building journey in Starfield this morning. The big holdup has been adhesive. So we looked around for it randomly yesterday, and I decided, screw that. We're going to go look for it. Uh, we're going to look it up online and find it that way and find a planet that we can go to. In order to get it, I'm going to have to, as I understand it, I first need to go research and study the plants so that I can build a greenhouse, which will then allow me to harvest the plants. But then I also need to, I believe, make a storage chest, which then is going to go to a cargo link, which is then going to send it back to my main base. I don't know exactly what all this entails. That's going to be what we're going to be working on today so that I can figure this part of it out because I need lots and lots of adhesive to continue the base building at the main base. So I've been given a name of a planet. Somebody gave it to me yesterday during the stream, but it also I just saw it uh, in the place where I was looking in Google. Um, so I believe it's the Alpha Centauri system, which is what we're in. And the planet is Gagarin, which is right outside our back door, which is awesome. I've never, I've never really come here, so we're supposed to go here, and uh, we're gonna be looking for some plants that we can then harvest in our greenhouse. But first, we have to find the plants and scan the plants to get the plants, so that we can build the greenhouse to take care of the plants. And then we'll build our little secondary outpost and I'll figure out how to make this supply chain work. Oh, it's nice to finally be off our ship. All right. One thing I probably don't need to worry about is my rover at the moment. Um, Look at there, we got some plants right away. And what are we getting? Fiber. It's not what I'm looking for, but it's something. Keep looking. We got lots of plant life to explore, so. Swamp ball root. Sealant. I mean, sealant is nice, but I need adhesive. Adhesive, sirs. And madams. I'm sure there's something nearby. Trilobites, nasty critters, man. Something over here, probably the trilobites. Ooh, there's a different kind of something over there. Okay, that one's got a hundred percent.
Sealant, sealant, sealant. Sealant is all well and good, but I need adhesive. Says astronomers think there are likely no planets in Alpha Centauri. Ha <laughs> ha. Suspension of disbelief, sir. So I've got all four of the resources. There are three more types of flora I need to find. One of them has got to be adhesive because everyone on the internet said that this place has adhesive and I'm not seeing it yet. Maybe in a different bio. What's up, Felton? Come on, let me 100% you. There we go, thank you. She'll take care of you. I'm probably gonna get all overburdened doing this shit. Oh, please don't tell me you're going to eat that. 100% of that. Oh my god, I just tried to do the melee jump from No Man's Sky. <laughs> I was trying to propel, propel myself across the landscape. Uh, that's funny. Tell me you played No Man's Sky this morning without telling me you played No Man's Sky this morning. That is hilarious. My muscle memory is all like, hey, you were just doing this shit in another game. All right, well, I'm not seeing anything else here. We may have to go to another biome. Because I'm looking for uh, plant life. That didn't sound good. Creepy, creepy. 
critters screaming at me. All right, I don't see any more blue on the horizon. Oh, shit, you guys are right here. All right, let's, um... Yeah, no, there, there's definitely still flora left, but not in this biome, I'm thinking. So we're going to go to a different biome on the planet. Let's try this landing site over here. Oh, I'm in combat. What? Let's let the combat clear. Worst case scenario, I'll travel back to my... See, it, we're still in combat because there's a bunch of stuff over there. Let's just work our way back to the ship. If the combat drops before then, great. If not, we'll just manually take off. Because she's just going to sit here and shoot shit. I forgot to uh, give you guys an update on Pippin because for those of you who were hanging out this morning during the No Man's Sky stream and then with breakfast, when we went and did the um, breakfast stream, finish up with Homestead, she's over here. Um, she's sleepy right now. Um, I'll probably move her to the bed in a minute so that she can get up in the covers. She can get nice and cozy. We gave her some um, pain meds a little while ago, but I am pleased to announce that what we suspected was happening is definitely happening. And um, when we were out at breakfast this morning, I told people on the stream that um, I, w I took her body bandage off and I was letting her lick at her area because there was like three or four little spots where you could see it underneath the skin. And she opened up one and stuff came out and it was little black flecks, um, which is what we're seeing under the surface of the skin. And what it is, is it's debris from the accident that happened in April, I think it was late April, early May when she, but the vet obviously didn't get everything out and no fault to the vet. You know, when there's a wound like that, there's going to be debris that gets left in because it was a, it was not a easy thing to fix. Um, that was an emergency surgery they had to patch up. So this is, I think the, this is the third or fourth time that she's had stuff come out in the months following the surgery. And this one, there's like, there was like four little black specks that we noticed on her stomach about five days ago and she was licking at herself and biting it. So we, we've been keeping her in the body suit, just kind of waiting on it to come out. And um, yesterday afternoon, we noticed one of, the one, one of the ones had gotten like an eighth of an inch in diameter. And that's the one that when I let her lick at it this morning, it opened up and she, like it opened up and we were able to get in there with a um, cotton and disinfectant and we pulled out like two little hard, like flakes. Um, we suspect it's, if you've ever worked with like galvanized um, wire or like old chain link fencing, if you ever like bend the wire, it'll have like a flaky, hard flaky substance that comes off. It's that galvanized flaking. Um, it's either that or rust that, that was on whatever the metal of the fence that she fell on. Um, so, yeah. Good news is that one of the little points is now cleaned out and emptied, but she's still got like three little other points. So it's probably still going to be like another 
It could be three days. It could be five days. We just don't know. Um, but we gave her some pain meds today. Um, a couple drops. It's an anti-inflammatory and pain med. Uh, I wouldn't say she's on the mend yet, but definitely like things are coming out of her body. So it's just, it's kind of like, for those of you who are paying attention, who were asking why I had a band-aid on last week, I had the same thing happen. I ate a shitload of chocolate and I had an under the surface zit on my nose that took five days to come to the surface. So it was five days of having this painful bubble on my nose and then putting a bandage on it for the last two days to draw it all to the surface. And then once it finally drew to the surface, I popped it, drained it, put a bandaid on it. And I was good to go the next day. It's the same thing here. We're having to pull it all to the surface and then clean it out, disinfect it, cover it back up. Fun times. But she is, um, she doesn't seem to be any pain. It's just, she gets a little grumpy when you know, you go want to squeeze it because it's like, that hurts, Dad. <laughs> but she was out playing with her brothers and sisters this morning. Um, she wanted to go attack Snow White, so. Fire up your hands, Scanner. I bet you'll find plenty here to catalog. I'll let you touch my hand, Let's Scanner, anytime you want, Sarah. Oh, can we not get out of here with our rover very easily? Welcome to the channel. Silent Dave. Welcome to YouTube. Everybody else tuning in for the first time. Don't forget, I'm multi-stream on YouTube and Twitch. Daily streams happen around 9 a.m. Mountain Time. And 6... Sorry. Talk about the other... 9 a.m. Central. And 4 p.m. I need to stop and redo my time zones because I'm getting all confused even when I'm talking about it. <laughs> 9 a.m. Mountain, 4 p.m. Mountain, every day. The main game right now is Starfield. But I also do Lord of the Rings Online on Monday nights, World of Warcraft on, Mon on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And I can't scan these things for shit from the rover. And it doesn't help that I'm like, I can't talk. All right, there's 100% on those. All right, we're looking for plants still, everybody. Here's a plant. Please, please, please be an adhesive plant. Please, 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 please be an adhesive plant. Fuck you, it's a fiber plant. I'm confused. I may need to just build the greenhouse and see if one of these is going to provide me with one. I thought it had to be a plant that literally said adhesive from the plant, get it to 100%, and then you can build that plant in the greenhouse. But I am not finding any plants that have adhesive. Adhesive! I fucking found it! Okay, this is what I want. Sweetwater cactus. This is what I'm looking for. We need more of those. Sweetwater cactus. Let's go grab my rover and roll around and look for some more. No, it's definitely a greenhouse, Hawk. It's definitely a plant because it's it's for building in the greenhouse. Man, those things are so high up. And you can't see because of the grass. Did one of them just fall down? Yep, 
Yeah, it totally did. Oh, there's the 100% on that. else in the near vicinity all right we need more some of that cactus Hope you've calibrated that thing. Touch it and find out. Here, cactus, cactus, cactus. Here, cactus, cactus. Man, you gotta be right up on it to uh, scan it. Oh, there's a cactus right here. These I want to harvest because I definitely need the adhesive. Oh, there's something over here. Got my points spent elsewhere, Hawk. Maybe one of these days I'll put some more into the scanner, but not for now. sleep over there. Are you gonna, are you ready for your hand? Hang on guys, I gotta help Chris change a bandage on her hand. Or put a new bandage on. Hey, you wanna show off your war wound from yesterday? For the people who were here yesterday, um, if you remember, she, she got cut. These are the two scratches right there. That's, that's where she got nailed yesterday. Um, they're healing up nicely. That was last. Yeah, that was during yesterday afternoon's stream, when Pip had freaked out and jumped out of her hands, and like the back claws went. Hunk! It bled all over the place. It was nasty, but it's healing up nicely. I gotta help Chris put a bandage on real quick. Put some new medicine on and bandages. So give me, give me a couple minutes.
All right, that's done. CC Felton says, "Let me let off topic. Last night I was in a root for awakening with root awakening with Dragon Age Inquisition. I thought I was done and out of nowhere it was thrust into Skyland. <laughs> Have fun with the. Isn't that the castle part? I can't remember the outpost thingy. It's been a while since I played." Hang on, I gotta go check Discord real quick. So a quick shout out, if you're not in our Discord, um, this will make more sense in a couple of days. Uh, Hemvar is in our Discord forever. Um, he has been a part of my community since 2014. He has bought every t-shirt, bought every book, him and his brother have played EverQuest 1, EverQuest 2, Lord of the Rings Online. They've been great kids. And he's been slowly working his way up as a fantasy and sci-fi author over the past few years. He's got a booktube channel called Liam's Lyceum. Some of you might be following it. And he has his, I believe it's his first novella, is coming out on Amazon in two days. Um, one of my projects this afternoon is today and tomorrow is I'm going to be reading through that and giving a review on Tuesday to coincide with the launch of his novella and he dropped a link in our discord in the general chat section for those of you who want to go pre-order and get a copy um, it's a great way to support indie authors if you like sci-fi and fantasy um, go follow his channel Liam's Lyceum on YouTube I think he just said he got his first check from YouTube actually um, recently as well so he's growing in all the right places um, He's in his mid-twenties, um, up and coming. Check it out. There will be more links to come, but in the meantime, you can find all the links over in the Discord. <laughs> Alright, I need more of this cactus. Interesting in range. Ooh, what are you? Apex Rust Rebel Dust Leather. Oh, 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 there's cactus. <laughs> God, I keep hitting the X button because it's the same as the interact button when I play a lot of other games and it's not the interact button here. did it again. One of these days I'll learn. Cactus, where are you? Maybe if you stopped backseat driving we wouldn't have such problems, Sarah.
All right, burnt poke leaf is 100 percented now. I just need like probably two more of the. Um... Cacti? Ooh, what are you? Dude, fucking scan it. Dude, this scanner doesn't work for shit compared to the hand scanner. Like, you've got to have it, like, perfectly aligned. There we go. Jesus. I'm not seeing any more cacti. How come I can't scan these? So they were showing up as blue inside the vehicle, but green outside the vehicle. That's weird. Very strange. Okay. Well, I still need, um... Oh, that might be one right there, yes. Don't oh, rush the we need quite a few of those still. Valuable. I thought I only needed like three or four. I need a lot more than three or four. Let's do this! What are you setting our thing on fire for, woman? Holy shit. I'm gonna have to leave her on the ship next time. Uh-oh. I hit the wrong button. We're not playing No Man's Sky, bro. Baby wanted to light my fire. <laughs> Every time, that's really annoying. So, like, the boost button. When you hit it and the map's open, it obviously doesn't boost you. It sends you into the map. At least you can jump with this, even with the scanner mode open. Come on, cacti. Ooh, look at that natural archway up ahead, guys. <gasps> There's more than one of them. I wonder if this leads somewhere. There's one up ahead, too. Get sidetracked.
Oh, it led me to something. Another cactus at the very least. That's 70%? God, we still need quite a few of these. They certainly don't make it easy to get your adhesive. No, these are the ones I totally have these scanned. Check this shit out. If I get out, it's going to be green. Oh, maybe not. These ones aren't. Why can't I? It says 100% scanned. And then, yeah, but they're blue. That is weird. Definitely bugs. They really need to make it so you can harvest stuff out of your rover. Uh, I think, yeah, two more. Come on, cacti, where you at? 